Our next topic is finding the deformation of the bar under its own weight. It means we are not applying any external force in the body but the weight of the body itself is causing deformation in the bar. So suppose this is a bar which is vertically hanging just due to its own weight there will be some deformation in the bar and we want to find out that deformation. How to solve this problem? Let us take a small element dx at a certain distance x from the bottom edge. Let us take a small element dx. This dx at a certain distance x from the bottom. Now you can see here the different parts of the bottom, different parts of the body is uh, trying to pull this, uh, trying to deform this body in a different manner. They are, there is some part of this body and this and this and this part is increasing, right? So we have taken a small element. So each element, each element will be having a different weight for deformation. So we have chosen a small element dx and then we will integrate the, we will find the first deformation in this small element and that deformation can be integrated from 0 to L. We are taking the 0 here and starting in the length from here to here because the lower part is pulling this body downward. That's why we are starting this. This is our reference point at x is equal to 0. This is our x is equal to 0 and we are moving upward and suppose total length of the body is L. So from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to L, what is the deformation? This is our aim because lower part of the body is pulling this body downward and trying to elongate this body, trying to uh, increase the length of the body, right? And suppose uh, this small element dx is getting a weight wx. So this, uh, who is pulling this uh, small element? This element, this element, this element, x distance, a area of cross section, this part of the body is pulling this dx downward to increase the length of this dx, right? So what is weight? What is weight actually? What is weight? That is equal to m into g. And what is mass? That is density into volume into g. And we want to find out this wx. So this is this part, this part, which I am showing with dotted line, dotted points like this. This is wx, that weight, which is trying to pull this dx downward so that there will be some elongation in this part dx. So this wx will be equal to mass of this part multiplied by g or density into volume into g. So density into volume. What is volume? Suppose this body has some area of cross section. I am making circular, assuming that this is a circular. So A is the area of cross section. So rho into area into length x, this becomes volume into g. So this is the weight. This is the weight due to which body is pulling down and bowling is trying, this dx is uh, elongating due to this part of the body, right? This dotted part. So W is, is basically the dotted part, weight of dotted part. Here I am writing dot, dotted part. So Wx is weight of dotted part. And this weight is trying to elongate this small deform, this small element dx. So there will be a small deformation in this small element dx. So what is that deformation? And we know by the formula that deformation delta L equal to PL upon AE. This is our basic formula. So we will utilize this formula to find out small deformation in this small element dx. So what will be the deformation in dx? So delta dx, delta L means deformation L length total. But here, because each part is facing different weight, so that's why we are finding first the deformation in this small element dx. So that will be equal to force x acting on this element dx and that is the dotted part which is at bottom trying to pull the body. So this is wx 
L, L is the small element dx in which we have to find out the deformation upon area. Area of cross section is uniform, so area of cross section is suppose A and uniform material is there E. So this is Wx dx upon Ae and that will be equal to and Wx. What is Wx? Rho Av. So Rho Axg, Rho Vg which is Rho area into length will be volume into G. So Rho Axg, Rho Axg into dx divided by Ae. Right? So delta dx is basically uh, we can write rho a g we can write uh, this is constant upon a e this is also constant and what is left is x dx now we can integrate this is the small deformation this is small deformation in the small element dx and these small elements this small deformation added up to uh, to uh, to get the total deformation in the bar from 0 to l so we can integrate it, sum of these uh, deformations, integrate it from 0 to L. So integrate, integrate uh, delta dx, so you will get delta dx from 0 to L and that will be equal to rho a g upon a e. Integrating x dx is variable, so we have kept this inside and other things are constant rho ag upon ae so we have taken it out from 0 to l right so this deformation is delta l total deformation in the length of l and that will be equal to rho ag upon ae integration of this will be equal to x square by 2 because the integration of x is x square by 2 from 0 to l and that will be equal to rho a g upon a e you can put here one uh, funds upper limit l square lower limit is 0 so this will become l square by 2 right so so total deformation delta l will be equal to rho a to a cancel so you will get rho g l square upon 2e so this is the deformation in the bar due to its own weight right we can further solve it slightly like what is the weight of the body total weight total weight of this body total weight of this body what is that so what is the total weight of the body Total weight of the body is rho that is equal to mg that is equal to rho vg and that is equal to rho alg. Density volume into g you, you know mass is equal to density into volume so rho vg and volume is area into length so rho alg. Here the term is here the term is rho g the term is rho g rho g and what is here also the term is rho g or rho a l g so you can find out what is in terms of weight of the body we want to find out the deflection in terms of weight of the body so what is that so rho rho l g can be separated and we can write that will be equal to w upon a w upon a weight of the body divided by the cross section area so here also we can write we can write that delta l will be equal to rho lg there is a term coming at the numerator rho lg so we put rho lg as w by a so you will get w l upon 2 a e w l upon 2 a e this is the total deformation due to its own weight we have seen that the deflection under its own weight is given by delta l equal to w l upon 2 a e this is the deformation due to its own weight own weight what will happen if we apply same load this weight of the body is applied externally uh, to a weightless body so suppose now we have applied a 
external load W to a body which has same dimensions, it has same length L, same cross sectional area A, suppose the cross sectional area of the body is again same A and the body is weightless and the weight is applied same weight whatever the weight of the body same weight is applied externally W. What will happen then? We know delta L is given by PL upon AE. This we have already read in our previous lectures. Change in length is PL upon AE when the load is applied externally. Now the uh, load is applied externally equal to the weight of the body which was in previous case. So weight of the body. So the total deformation will be equal to WL, W, this W, L upon AE. And you can see that this weight is half of this deformation is half of this deformation. Means when you are applying uh, the force externally or weight externally, you are getting higher deformation, double deformation compared to this when the deformation is under its own weight. So we can write a note here not that the deformation of the bar under its own weight is half the deformation of the bar when the same load is applied externally right so we can write deformation of the bar of bar under its own weight is half the deformation if same load same load is applied externally.